What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to talk about five reasons why I think you should take your car on a road course. Um, in my case, it'll be my Lexus ISF, but any vehicle, you should take it to a road course, especially if it's a performance one. I've actually been tracking my Lexus ISF uh, for a little over a year now. I'm actually going to Chuck Chuckwalla Valley Raceway um, tomorrow and I'm going to do my sixth track day. So I've had a lot of uh, 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 positive experiences with it, great times every single time I'm out on track. And so I would hope that this video uh, encourages you to go out and possibly try a road course. And uh, let's uh, get this video started with the five reasons why I think you should track your ISF or any vehicle. Okay, so for the first reason why, why I think that you should road course your car is because I think it's a very safe environment to drive your car in a high performance manner. Um, at, at a minimum for safety gear, you have to wear a helmet um, you know, whenever you're running with any company that I've ran with. So that alone is uh, you know, more than you'd get with just driving on the main streets. And then also a big part of safety is the flag marshals that are there. They do a great job uh, of letting you know they are your um, eyes and ears ahead of you on things that you cannot see or do not know of. They are there to alert you of what is happening. Um, there might be a car stalled out at the in, on the middle of a uh, of the track and it's right after the crest of a hill and you might go down and just smash into them because you can't see what's happening there. There might be oil slicks right right around a turn that you can't see and if you would hit it you'd go off course and and uh, and possibly crash. So they do a very good job of letting you know what is happening ahead of you. You have to be aware of where those flag stations are. There's usually multiple ones on different courses and they're positioned in uh, in a manner that will help you see uh, or know what's happening ahead of you know any blind spots. And also um, re in regards to safety, any company that I've ran with has a um, paramedics on staff as well as um, you know a fire, uh, maybe not the fire department, but they have a safety team that is out there to you know put out fires and things like that. So if anything bad does happen to you, there will be somebody there to help you um, very very quickly. Uh, you might you might not get that attention um, you know on on the street or uh, you know if you go off a cliff or something on the canyon. You know, it might be hours or days before somebody finds you. So it's very safe in the sense of, you know, you wear safety protective equipment. There are people looking out for your best interest to make sure you're having a good, uh, fun, safe time. And in case there is an emergency, there's emergency personnel there to um, help you very, very quickly. Also, I think it's safe because everybody that is at a um, high performance driving event is there for a reason. They're there to become a better driver and they're there and they're focused. The, uh, they want to, uh, you know, they're not there to lollygag around. They're not there to text while drive. They're not there to eat, uh, you know, cheeseburgers while they're driving. They're there and they're 100% focused on driving. Um, you know, just driving on the normal day of the streets, you, you've seen, you've probably seen uh, people doing all kinds of weird things in cars, not paying attention. So I actually feel more safe sometimes on a road course because I know that everybody there is trying to um, become a better driver and they're focused and they know what's going on. They, um, they're, you know, they're checking their mirrors. They're pretty aware of what's going on around them. And, um, you know, like I said, focused on what they are uh, trying to do. And that is become a better version of themselves driving. So I would definitely say that, uh, th you know, there is, um, you know, there's obviously inherent risk with driving on a road course, but I don't think that it's any worse than driving on normal streets on any, any given day, given what I see um, all the time. So that is my first, uh, first reason why I think that you should road, uh, take your car on a road course. And this kind of leads into a 1A of um, the safety portion. It's uh, safer because you don't have to worry about things that you normally would on a regular road. If you've gone to a, you know, done some canyon carving, 
you know what's up there. Uh, there's bicycles, there's people on motorcycles, there's people on other cars that, you know, sometimes get into your lane. There's cops up there. There's all, you know, there's rocks that are in the middle of the road that are there to, you know, uh, just smash up your front end. So I'm not saying that uh, canyons are, you know, not fun because they are, but they're not as safe as a road course because you are not going to get a ticket for speeding. You are not going to have to worry about somebody that is going, um, you know, the opposite direction of you as they would in a canyon being two lanes uh, because on a road course, everybody is going either counterclockwise or, uh, or clockwise. Everybody's going the same direction, so you and you don't have to worry about cross traffic either. So that takes a lot of elements of um, dangerous driving out of the equation, and you know it's it's safe because you're not worried about you know the the random bikers or the groups of them that you know love to you know inhibit your canyon driving. I know if you have done it, uh, you've done canyon driving. I know you have been slowed down by these groups of uh, of bikes that are going up and. Um, and there's just anything can happen on a canyon and on a road course there are um there are measurements in place to make sure you are having the most fun in the safest environment so that uh, that you know is you know in addition to the first reason why i think you should take your car on a road course now the second reason which is fun no doubt that a road course is the most fun bar none that I have had with my ISF. If you've seen my channel, you know that I, you know, do road courses. I've done some roll racing. I've done drag racing hundreds of times, but easily a road course is the most fun driving that I do with my car. And I say that because there are so many different elements to um, a road rate or a road course. You know, drag racing, it's fun because it's, you know, very quick. You can see who's faster, reaction time, things like that. But a road course, you have, um, you know, braking, you have turns, you have accelerating, you have uh, hills, you are, you know, you have elevation changes, you have all different aspects of driving on a road course. And, and you have cars, you know, right next to you, um, that you guys are jockeying for position. I know that, you know, People say that a high performance driving education event is not a race. You are not there. It's not wheel to wheel racing or anything like that. You are there to become a better driver. But I would I would like to believe that if somebody was uh, to say that they aren't there to race, they, they might not be telling the whole truth. Because I think that anybody that had that's at a road course is probably uh, you know a more competitive individual uh, driving wise and they want to become a better driver as well as you know kind of see how they measure up against different cars that are there um, I, I don't know anybody that you know goes there just to uh, you know be slow or anything or I would think that most people want to try and beat that other car you know if I'm there with my ISF I see this that M3 I want to try and beat it out you know if there's a C63 or something some car that's you know at my uh you know, a, a rival of my cars, I want to try and beat it. And I want to see, you know, if I'm able to beat that car and driver. Um, it's it's very competitive. And I, you know, I've gotten into some very good, um, I guess you can call them battles with different vehicles um, on track. Um, really good one that I had was with a, a newer Cayman GT4. We were just going back and forth for the entire 20 minute session. And it was a blast because we, you know, we, 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 uh, come up on each other and, um, you know, we pass each other on different turns, go back and forth. So it is a blast. Um, I don't know of any other racing that, you know, you're going to have you know, kind of little simulated battles, uh, with people, um, obviously drag racing, you will, cause you're, you know, back and forth, but one that includes turns auto crossing, you're just out there by yourself. Um, just trying to beat the time. There's nobody next to you. But um, auto, or, I'm sorry, a road course is um, the most fun because of all those different elements, because it, it combines everything that you um, need to know or have learned about driving uh, and, and throws you on the course with other cars. So it's always fun to be there together with other individuals and um, just trying to uh, be the best version of yourself and um, see who can, you know, get get uh, learn something and get a, and get a good time. So. That would be the second reason why I would say go to a road course. And now the third reason. You're going to find out a lot about yourself 
and a lot about your car by taking it to a road course. You're gonna see how comfortable you are with different driving situations. You're gonna find out your limits as to what your skills will allow. Um, you know, a lot of people that, you know, think that they're a really good driver, they can go 180 miles an hour in their car, they've ran away from the cops five times, they can, you know, drift, you know, so good, they can, you know, they, they think they're good. I would challenge them to go to a road course and see how well they do. I'm sure there are, are a, a few people that just have natural ability that can translate those to very good lap times, but I think for the most part, most people are going to get a, um, a, a slice of humble pie at a road course because you are probably going to get smoked by some cars that you thought that it, it would have no chance in uh, heck that you were going to get um, beat by that car. But you will because the driver is the most important modification to any vehicle and there will be people there that, you know, have done road courses for many, many years and just, you know, run circles around you. So you're going to learn a lot. I learned a lot, you know, um, it definitely humbled me the first uh, a couple times I went there, but go in with an open mind and wanting to learn and you will learn and become a better driver. Also, you're going to find out more about, you know, how well your car is, uh, is built for, um, for a road course. I don't think that there's any other racing that puts the amount of abuse on a vehicle as a road course does, whether it be just stopping from triple digit speeds down to, you know, maybe 20 miles an hour for a hairpin turn, or just the uh, continual running of, you know, high, you know, being in high RPMs for, you know, 20, 20 minutes or so straight at least. Um, you know, they're, they're drag racing, yes, I guess that puts uh, uh, some abuse on your car because you're launching it and whatnot. But on a road course, you're running it at more than likely full tilt for 20 minutes straight. And um, there are no other racing activities that you run it for that consistently long of a period. And, um, and you, you, you'll start to find out what parts are the weakest links and things that you're going to have to change in order to um, in order to uh, maybe get better, keep up, or just uh, continue to do road, road courses. So um, that is the third reason. I, you know, you're gonna you're gonna find out a lot about yourself and your car, uh, and that's why I think you should take your car to a road course. And kind of leading into it, this is the fourth reason: you are going to become a better driver by taking your car to a road course. And when I say that, it's because you are going to experience the most extreme conditions and, um, and I guess, panic-inducing moments that you may not ever um, experience on the street on a road course. Um, you are going to learn how to control slides, how to um, control uh, your car at high speeds, emergency braking because you're going to be doing all these things normally because uh, on a road course because that's how you're going to best shave time and that's what you're there to do. There's a lot of um, companies and even uh, cl uh, car clubs that have spawn or not sponsors um, uh, instructors that will help you out and I've found that most people at track days are very helpful even if they're not an instructor I've asked um, guys you know that have been there hey you know how should I take this turn? Um, what you know? What's the you know angle? What's the proper line that I should be doing? And the the people that work there are more than likely very experienced, as well as the people that are you know left and right of you where, where you're parking your car. Um, a lot of people have a lot of knowledge on driving that they would like to share. All the people that I've met have been very welcoming, and uh, it, you know have you know taken the time to kind of give me some pointers as to how to help out, um, help me out driving. So. It's uh, it's very fun. You're going to become a better driver in, in just normal day driving. And I say that because you are going to be more aware, I feel like, after I went to a road course. Because when you're when you're there, you 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 need spatial awareness because cars are coming up on you on your left, your right, you know, your rear. You have to be uh, you have to know what's going on around you at all the times because you don't want to just, you know, take a turn and cut somebody off that's you know maybe on the inside of the turn trying to get around you so you, you you're going to have better spatial awareness and you're going to know how to handle situations that may pop up um, on the normal driving roads and and have a better idea of how 
uh, you and your car will react and it could possibly, you know, avoid an accident or maybe even save your life. So I am a, definitely an advocate for uh, learning kind of those limits and how to, con uh, how to, uh, what to do in a controlled environment. And um, I really think that it will help uh, most individuals on just daily driving their cars and uh, make them a safer driver as well. And now the fifth reason, and it has to do with cost. Yes, I will say that road courses are the most um, uh, expensive form of racing. Uh, the, the cost of entry is the highest. And, you know, I, I see most prices between 120 to maybe around $200 or 220 or so um, for most companies. There are companies that charge a little bit more. And that's all kind of dependent on the company and track or um, how many vehicles are going to be there. So, but I think for the majority, it's between 120 and maybe $200 or so. Um, that's usually what I'm paying when I go to um, my uh, my road courses. And you think, oh man, that's a lot of money to, uh, to join. Well, look at it this way. Price per minute, it is the cheapest of, you know, drag racing auto crossing and a road course road course price per dollar i'm sorry price per minute that you pay is actually the lowest of those three because i um i drag race my car as you know and i pay 30 dollars to um to drag race all night long and the most runs that i have gotten in one night is 36 runs i know that most people do not run that many times a night I would say 10 is about uh, 10 or less is the average. Uh, so when you think about, you know, time actually driving, you know, for an eighth mile, let's just round it up, go up to nine seconds of actual driving time times 36, you know, $30 price per minute is, you know, the highest of the three and, um, auto crossing. I've, uh, I've seen a couple auto cross events, uh, down, $35 all the way up to like 80 or $90 kind of depends on, you know, like I said, the company or um, the club that's hosting it as well as uh, if you have to work, you know, because if you're not driving, sometimes you have to work and pick up cones that people hit. Um, you know, if you're paying more, you, you don't have to do that. But um, most, uh, some autocrosses that I've seen, their track is about a minute long or so, and you're only going, you know, one at a time. And you get, you know, a couple, you know, sessions a day, maybe three runs per session. So you might get maybe 12 to 15 minutes of actual driving. And when you uh, calculate that on a per minute basis, it's, um, it's, it's, it's cheaper than uh, a drag race, but it's uh, still not as, uh, or it's still more expensive than a road course. And I say that because on a road course, your sessions are usually 20 minutes long. Um, the company that I that I go with, at a minimum, you're going to get four sessions throughout the day. So that's an hour and 20 minutes of actual driving seat time. And, you know, usually in the afternoons, people leave. So you can hop into another group if you want, go five, maybe even six sessions if you really want to. Um, another company that I ran with, you could have been on on uh, the course for, I think it was at least three hours of track time. So, um, and it, th and they're not clogged up. It's not three hours of track time and you're like, you know, an hour, 20 minutes of, you know, just a hundred people on the track. It's just no fun. No, it's, it's spaced. Well, you're, I can drive at 10 tenths as much as I want. Um, might go up to, you know, catch up to some people, but for the most part, you're driving as hard as you can. So, um, you definitely get the most bang for your buck on a road course. Um, you're going to get the most seat time, which I think will is, is the most helpful because, um, you know, you're not going to become a good driver unless you have actual seat time and you are going to get the most seat time in a day on a road course. So, um, you know, I, I really hope that you uh, learned something from this video and I, I hope I encourage you to going out and trying a road course. I'd really love to see another uh, uh, F out there. You know, there's very few of us to begin with, and I have taken uh, my car to the track and ran with a couple ISFs and RCFs, so very fun times. It's always good to see 
um, same car as you or like light cars. But um, either way, if if not, then I'll I'll still be holding it down for the F uh, F family out there. And um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. And I really hope that you learned something today and you really consider going on a road course. I guarantee you that you will have a good time. If you don't have a good time, then please get your pulse checked because I don't know, you know, what 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 other what would really excite you to have. A good time um, if a road course doesn't do that for you so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon